to a seven-year-old child what equality is. So very simple, huh? Domineer? They don't understand that. What, what do you mean, you know, when you say it's, we're not dominant, we're not domineering, right? Yeah? So how would you say it to a seven-year-old? What is equality? This is a single joint the joint family and there are several claimants, children among, among them. So how to share that toy? What is the principle for sharing that toy? That is equality. Okay. Food mother and equality and growth mother and equality. Food 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 mother yeah. Since the beginning of the childhood, they can uh, they can see the differentiation among the way that toy is shared, the food is shared, yes. and the love is shared. Yes. And then in the later age, they accept it, yes. accept those differences, and yes. live accordingly. Okay, so that's it. I mean, you're going, you should sit here. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're going, you're going right away deep into the subject, right? Yeah. Because of course it starts with our children, how we bring up the children, how we educate them, how we condition them in society, right? And this is a big issue actually when we talk about equality, especially gender equality. Yeah. Because from the beginning, from the almost the very beginning, we're setting them up to be to feel different. Is that true? Mm -hmm. So a child is born, right? Baby comes out. And what is the first thing that people look for? First thing. Gender. Okay, no, second thing. First thing first is gender. Thing. No, second uh, thing is gender. Second thing is gender. I'm generalizing. Look. Look as like. Uh, body, uh, physical uh, condition. Yes, exactly. They look if the child is healthy. It doesn't matter boy girl, right? Let's look at it healthy. Oh, all fingers are there, you know, legs, head, you know, ears, yeah, all is, oh, okay, healthy. Now we go like, second thing? Gender. Gender, right? We look wherever we can, yeah? Go like, ah, boy, ah, girl, right? And at that moment, at that moment, the child is not even 30 seconds old. Okay. It just, Nowadays, we're even starting in the womb. During the pregnancy, a lot of people want to find out. Hmm? <laughs> Ultrasound, right? Ultrasound, you can see on the belly, right? And you can get a small and some can get a little bit of a small one. In India, do, in India, generally, do people want to know what the gender is while it's in the belly, or, or do they go like, oh, however, whatever happens when it comes out is fine? Actually, it is prohibited to uh, identify the gender. It's prohibited. It's prohibited. It's not legal. Doctor cannot say it. 
from Dr. Vc, but he will not say it. He will not say it. Yeah. Yeah. He cannot say it. No. Yeah. Okay. Ah, interesting. So even if somebody, will, even if the parents want to know, if the parents go like, I want to know the gender of my child, the doctor will say no. It's not legal. It's not legal. Why? <laughs> because there will be many uh, uh, termination of the pregnancy. Because it was not boy. They wanted a boy. And the uh, illegal no, termination of pregnancy is a difference, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Boy, yes. Girl, no. 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 Okay. And there's reasons for it. Yeah. But it's not equal. So, yeah. So within the first 30 seconds of a, a human being's life, a neutral life, you know, uh, we're already making a very strong distinction. This is boys, this is male, female. Right? Okay. Okay. So, so when I, I, I think it was mentioned, my program, Generations uh, Mentoring, we go to the schools in Pune, uh, Ikipatil School right here, and Kalmadi School in Ganeshnagar. We've been working there for two years now. And uh, it is interesting that when the, when the students come into the room and we form a circle, we're not sitting like this, we're sitting in a circle. Yeah. Uh, the boys will sit over there and the girls will sit over there. It's not boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. India, very interesting. <laughs> Everywhere else on the planet, it will be mixed. Yeah. India, very strict and very hard to break it up. We try this sometimes, we go like, uh, okay, let's mix, you know, let everybody take a different chair, yeah, in the circle, right? You know what happens? All the boys that were sitting here before are now sitting over there, and all the girls are sitting here that sit over there. gender
people are struggling with gender equality, right? You're aware of that, right? It's not, there's not one country that has this resolved. Some are better than others. A lot of, we're not, it's not equal. It's, there is no equality. We're working, maybe, maybe we're working towards that. And we can talk a little bit why we want to do that. What's the motivation? Why, why, are, why is it not okay to say, okay, um, there are men, there are women, and there's maybe something else, and then we, we, we work based on that. But it's not, that's not what we want, right? We're communicating, we're wanting to change something in society, right? So why, why are we wanting that? So before we get to that, I'd like to find out what is the history? What, what, when you say it comes from a history, what is that history? Can you just give me like a few sentences on that? I think you need to translate the, the question. Really. What, what it's uh, saying is that, uh, Sir, Pune Jagman, he inequality ahe, kahi na kahi pramana pratech desha madhe, inequality ahe, he te accept karta. But the degree jay and the change of it. But the India madhe, every strong ahe, and that's a little bit of the key, apply it here. The it has a bit of a little bit of a little bit. Dominique, 
dominant or non-dominant is difficult to understand, but equality is when people are of the same value for each other and they have the same rights. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so as soon as we don't have that, as soon as the, there's, equality, there's no equality, it's interesting that one feels better than the other. Right? The, the discrepancy typically leads to somebody saying, I'm superior and you are inferior. Right? And so now the tendency in the modern times, in modern days, is that all over the world, is that we're trying to, to, to change this. Right? Yeah? So nobody feels, in, feels superior to anybody else. Right? And um, so that's like the topic of the talk, right? Yeah? Um, gender equality. Now, we talked about uh, girls and boys, right? First 30 seconds, you know, from then on, they're treated differently. Let's not, let's not forget that there's, a, there's a, a modern trend, there's something new that's been happening over the last, I've heard about it maybe, 15 years ago, for the first time, there's something in between, right? Boys, girls, and what's what is what do you think I'm referring to? Third gender. Hmm? Third gender. Third gender. Yeah, interesting. Huh? So, so you know you know this sign, right? You see it? Yeah. What is that? You, know, you can see it. Or you, you can see it. This is, what, what does this sign stand for? Uh, no? Okay. So then you also not know what this sign would stand for. You don't, you've never seen this? Men and women, right? Yes. Men, men and, yeah, male and female. Yes. I, Okay, this, this is male, right? And this is female. You never, do you have, do you have symbols in India? How, how would you, if you don't want to write female or male, you know, then how, how would you, you have, must have some symbols, no? This is a symbol. So I think it's a scientific thing. Yeah? Male, female. Yeah? And, and nowadays, nowadays, there's an interesting, Interesting thing, which is this, in the middle. I, you don't need to be here. I, I help myself, but I know it would be great to do it. But you know in the middle? Well, what's in the middle? Can you see? Hmm? And it's not, just, it's not just the third gender. Equality. Hmm? Equality. No? There's a whole other group, there's a whole other group of people who do not identify as male or female. They identify as something in between, right? LGBTs. Mm, you have, yeah. The LGBT includes, the T stands for transgender. This is a person who is born like this, a male, and becomes a female because they don't identify with being male, or the other way around, females who are born in a female body but don't identify and they become a male. Yes? You know somebody of that? Who Do you personally know somebody, a trans, transgender, somebody who has changed their their, their identification? You don't know anybody. I do. Yeah. Because it's, it's more common now in the United States. Yeah? But it's not just as simple as male and female anymore. There's a whole area, it's, it's even much more than this, it's, there's this whole area. It's not just this only transgender, it's, it's only it's, when it's homosexuals, you know, it's gay people, lesbian or, or, or male gay, right? There's this whole area that is in between male and female. And I think this is right now in, in most, I would say probably in most in most places 
average, it's about 15% of the population does not identify as female or male. Yeah. You have, you, you've heard of this whole area. I don't know if left pitches look at the male at it. Right pitches look at it, they will be like, but a group of it is what me, one of the identical negatives of the other, and the other one, I mean, female one of the identical negatives. अच्छा मतलब कुछ साल लोगों को आईडी नहीं पाया होता कि जैसे लेस्बियन आगे होमोसेक्सुअल्स आगे गेस आगे ट्रांसजेंडर आगे ऐसे आप लोग आगे लोग कुछ सुधार आगे कि जे मेल लोगों जन्म जाने लगे तो ते सोचा ना फीमेल साथ का आहता है सोचा ना तो ते सोचा ना फीमेल मनु निकलेगा दूसरी कुछ ना कहीं फीमेल मनु पंते सोचा है ना फीमेल मोड़ का आईडी पे नहीं कोई जिसका साइकोलॉजी के लिए ते मेल सर गए तो तीन पे सोचा ना मेल सर का आईडी पे आएगा तो ये दोनों ग्रुप सुधा ये जो हमारे आईडी पे आएगा तो ये मेल और फीमेल या दरमियान सा जो ग्रुप है अगर बस पंद्रह परसेंट ग्रुप आते कि जो सोचा ना मेल युवा फीमेल ये अच्छा मत it is in the word. This is word by word. And there are many, 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 many things in this area. Like you, you are you're here because you become a civil servant, right? Your your intention is to become a civil servant. That's why you come and study here, right? So what do you what what happens when you meet somebody who is in this in this box in this area? What typically happens? Let me give you an example. You know how those online forms you fill out, right? And you put your name and your your father's and your mother's name and you put your birth date, right? And then you come to that one and it says mail. Most, most place of male, female, right? So you are a civil servant in a few years, hopefully. You know, bless you. Maybe one of you are one of these achievers. You know, your photo will be up here. <laughs> you will be very proud, right? So let's say somebody comes to you to your to your desk and they say, "I'm not male and I'm not female. I don't identify as that." What honestly? What what do you think? What what will happen for you inside? What what are you feeling? What's going on? So, but the mother which are very lucky that the mummy father are someone they wish them, and the jacket part they which are very lucky that they are too normal they wish them. So, I mean, the teacher is very proud of me for that. That he made like a female. But how did you mind the little thing? I mean, the society of the car people that are nice. He was very proud of me for that expression. तीलांजी <laughs> But but let's be let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. Guys, what you will be? What what will you feel? I I think there's a, there's probably some commonality here. How we would feel about a person who says basically I am I'm in this area. What 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 is the normal reaction that people will have? Thank you. 